Okay, let's solve problem 1644. Determine the velocity and acceleration of a plate at instant theta equals 30 degrees. If at this, this instant the circular cam is rotating about a fixed point O with an angular velocity of omega equals 4 radians per second and an angular acceleration of alpha equals 2 radians per second squared. So it's rotating about here. This is kind of deceiving because it should be rotating about here. So as this spins, it's going to push this plate back. So the plate is moving back. It has a velocity and acceleration that direction. And as it rotates, it'll be at a maximum when it's straight across and it rotates up. So if we draw a little triangle right there, let's draw it down here. So here's the point O. Here's the plate at C. We can draw a triangle right like this. And this bottom of the triangle, right, if uh, we call that x, if that changes, the rate of change is the rate at which it's pushing the plate back. So let's draw this triangle. Now the center of the circle will be right there. So this distance is 150 millimeters or 0.15 meters and this distance here is uh, 120 or 0.12 meters so this here is going to be here's theta so it's going to be the uh, sine of theta is equal to uh, this distance, let's call that x1, x1 over 0.12, opposite over hypotenuse. So that would be 0.12 sine theta. So this whole side here, x, is equal to 0.12 sine theta plus 0.15. Okay, so if we start with that as the equation, x equals 0.12 sine theta plus 0.15. That is the distance here. So the rate at which that distance is changing as it turns is the uh, velocity at which it's pushing back. So let's take the first derivative with respect to time, and we get 0.12 cosine theta, and applying the chain rule, theta dot, and the 15 is just a constant and it goes away. And then the second derivative, x double dot, equals doing the product rule first times uh, the derivative of the second, 0.12 cosine theta, theta double dot, and then the second times the derivative of the first, minus 0.12 sine theta, theta dot, there's the derivative of this part, and then we have a second theta dot, the second part. So combining those, And there we have the first and second derivative. Now, theta dot is omega. Theta double dot is alpha. X dot is the velocity. And x double dot is the acceleration. Now all you have to do is substitute everything into these two equations, and we'll get the velocity and the acceleration. So x dot equals 0.12 cosine of 30 times 4. 
and that equals 0 0.416 meters per second. X double dot is equal to 0.12 cosine 30 times uh, 2 minus 0.12 sine 30 times 4 squared. And that is equal to negative 0.752 meters per second squared.